It was really a, a very difficult moment for me. Uh, I got injured uh, lately, late uh, January, and I didn't have the time to play again at Anfield. Um, it was a, a kind of a farewell that I, I think I didn't deserve it. The club didn't deserve it, my teammates, and of course uh, the supporters. So, And I was expecting that so many people read it, but uh, it was something like that. I, I wanted to say thank you to everybody at the club and to the supporters for, for the way they treat me. And well, I think it was well, uh, well received. And, and for me, it was, was also uh, very important because I didn't want them to think that uh, Liverpool was just a, a, a club that I was there and, and I left like many others. And uh, it was something like this. And well, until this day, um, I've been... Uh, next to the club and working with the club and doing a lot of stuff with the club and I'm proud that, the, that I, can ha I can have a relationship with the, with the team and the club. I remember that game, but it wasn't very good. Uh, I was struggling during the game and uh, I was losing some balls away, like they used to say. And um, that kind of uh, uh, release a little bit of, of that pressure. And that was one of the, the best ones because it was my last goal for Liverpool. Gave us a three points against Tottenham, that, uh, but it was a very strong team at the moment. So, yeah, uh, good memories from that. It was a goal. I, there was no VAR, there was no goal line technology or something. So it was ruled out, and it was a pity. It was my my goal in my debut, and it was a pity. But I, I, have you seen how big was the shirt? I'm, I mean, it's just funny. <laughs> it was massive. I used to like to to go, you know, tight and, and, and with the, the the shirt very uh, S or XS, and that was like XXL, something like that. Massive. It was so funny. <laughs> During that game, it was uh, it was about uh, listen, yes, uh, do your game, start playing easy, don't try to make anything. Unexpected during the first 10 to 15 minutes, you get confidence and then do, do, your, do your game. The whole build up is fantastic. I mean, the, the, the chest down, C said, the pass from Stevie was fantastic. And, and I, I had to shoot that there was no one in the box. I, was, I looked first and there was no one. I said, What I'm going to do? Try to, to, to dribble and lose the ball. So I tried my luck and well, at the end, the rebound it was it was good for me, so it was it was fantastic. A great, great, great feeling um, to to arrive, and and it's kind of of a, a relief when you score your first goal because everybody's expecting you to score goals. And uh, Rafa Mita say it's not a, a player who scored 20 goals, but he's gonna score maybe 10. And well, to put the first one out of the way, it was uh, very good for me, and well, kind of uh, relieved me from from the pressure. It was very tough. Um, uh, we, we can see the first one, it was about, we had a few chances, but we couldn't make it until uh, we got the, the equalizer with uh, Cisse. And uh, he scored the second one, it was fantastic. He had also a couple more. Uh, he, he came out from the bench and well, at the end, it was the last one. They started going forward because they needed and then in a contra-attack, he said, uh, make the, the cross and, and I headed to, to the net. And yeah, I think that, 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 uh, that goal put the the game to bed, and in, and finally we knew that we we were gonna have another another trophy. That for us at, at that time it was uh, massive. I mean, we we won the, the European uh, Championship, but uh, this kind of trophy they are always special. Even more now, uh, now you look back and you realize how important is uh, all those moments when we played the the FIFA International Club back in Japan. We lost uh, one 0 We made. So many chances, three goals is allowed, and, and you look back and you say, oh my God, we should have won that one, because now that you retire and you look a little bit to those memories, you don't have that one. How difficult it is, because you have to win first the Champions League and go there to win it. And well, we saw what happened with Liverpool last year, that they won it, and it was fantastic. And I, don't, I, I, I go here the silver web, but it's not the, the, the gold one, so I don't like it. Now, I like to go in the air. I'm not very tall, but uh, the timing, I got the timing and the jump, I think is, is, is decent. And, and I always um, try to arrive earlier on the, on the ball because in the air it's very difficult. And if you got the timing, even though if you're not very tall, you can, you can manage to head sometimes. And, and I think that one was uh, a, a very good head. It's, it's, it's sad, I mean, not sad, but it's bad that I say it. <laughs> But it's true because uh, the, the pace on the ball is very, is very, very hard. I mean, Finan really kick it, and I knew they're arriving, 
if I could manage to just head it with a little bit of the direction to the other side, it will get the goal. I'm not saying that I was looking for the top corner on the other side. <laughs> I, I knew that the speed of the ball was good enough to if I have if I arrive earlier on the ball. And actually, that the goal is very nice because of that. I managed to arrive first. The, the, the defender wasn't expecting me to, to, to go forward and well, I had the ball and it, it's one of the nicest goals that I ever scored. In this uh, quarterfinals is Juventus. Uh, on the goal, there is no a regular and uh, one of the keepers that another team's goal is uh, Gianluca Buffon, one of the best ones in the history of football. And, uh, and because of the situation, how it was, it was the second goal and um, Everything made it uh, fantastic. Uh, you see the replays, how the ball bounced, the timing of the ball, let it go, and I hit it. I, it was beautiful. Um, if you see the plastic of the situation, and, and I enjoy it. For me, yes, yeah, the best goal I, I scored for, for Liverpool. They're, they're beautiful, and the important that he had because uh, against Juventus, with uh, Del Piero, Nepe, Di Primovic, uh, Zambrotta, Cannavaro, Buffon. I mean, they, all of them, they were. Um, they were stars. They were top, uh, top stars in, in world um, football. And going there, knowing that they were favorite, that they also said on, on press conference that the, the, the yeah Anfield was a um, a big stadium and they know the the story and the and the spirit of Anfield. But they were above that and they will go and, and do the job. And well, for us it was also important to know that and, and to uh, put that extra gear on on. On the, on the field, and I think you can see in the first 45 minutes we were all over them and, and well, we scored those two goals. It's about the, that, I, that I should have made. That's the name of my son that I used to have it. Uh -huh. And number 10, of course. And that's the good. Yeah, it was all tough, a fantastic memory. And um, again, one of the best goals I scored for Liverpool because uh, of the moment that it was. Because uh, if you see that I was trying to. <laughs> run because there were so many going behind and uh, at that moment I was thinking I'm gonna grab the ball go 1v1 with the keeper that's that, well, that was the first thought because I thought they just flick the ball it's in front of me so I run fast as fast as I can 1v1 go to the side and that was all in my head as the as the ball bounced I heard John Terry coming like flying and I said just kick it just kick it <laughs> I just kick it. Well, I was I was lucky that the, the, the ball went went in. What I start liking it is that 15 years, and people start saying, "Ah, oh, what a goal it was!" Now people doesn't doubt anymore. You know, <laughs> now they start saying, "Now oh, what a goal!" Oh, you remember Chelsea is uh, the goal of semi-finals? I said, "Yeah," because it was. Before it was about that, they cross the line, they cross the line. But it's true that when we travel, we travel a lot with the um, LFC world and LFC legends. And every time that we go and do, we do this kind of uh, activation or events with them, um, we have a lot of supporters. And oh, there's always uh, that question on, on the table. And well, I'm, I'm, I enjoy every time, so fantastic. It was like nine times we, we play against them in the whole, uh, the whole year. It was we play in Cali Cup, final, semi final. Uh, FA Cup, uh, Champions League, uh, we play in, uh, in the league and Premier League, so it was so many times and we struggled. They had a fantastic team, uh, it was uh, tough to play against them and uh, well, uh, we were lucky that in the crucial moments like the two semi-finals, um, we did well. It was an amazing game, we have to say. I mean. Um, People say, no, it's one of the best one. It has to be one of the best finals ever because of the situation, because of the goals, the intensity uh, that we go to extra time. People keep running and running and, and we went to penalty. It was like a, a drama all, all the way. It's like a movie, a thrilling movie in the beginning, a drama at the end. It was fantastic. I think for, for the spectator at home, uh, for those who kept watching <laughs> after halftime because there were so many that uh, stopped watching, I think it was fantastic. For, for us, of course, it was a... Uh, a nightmare in the first 45 minutes, uh, very, very difficult until we scored the first one and the second one and, and then it was um, a fairy tale. I think it was fantastic. We can call it this way because you dream to be on a game like this one and uh, if you want to say, okay, let's make it uh, more dramatic on this, on this uh, set, at this point, it was uh, that, that way. It was like a script. It has to be like this and well, the save of, of Jesse Dude, uh, Jimmy Traore, and Smith uh, that uh, wasn't playing uh, as, a, as a regular and scored the goal and scored the penalty. It was so many 
uh, details that made us uh, uh, actually um, enjoy even more the, the job. There you go then. A massive thank you to Acronis, Liverpool's official cyber backup and storage partner, for letting us sit down and talk about those memories with Louis Garcia. Real highlight for me. Let me know your uh, favourite Louis Garcia memory in the comment section below. And not only that, we have got a giveaway. We will be giving away signed photos of that Chelsea memory from Louis Garcia over on our Instagram, our Facebook and our Twitter. So click the link in the description and get involved for a chance to get one of those signed photographs.